Hey everyone, this is Dan Lynch from Cosmology. I'm here to show you how to turn your smart contract into a TypeScript NPM module. So let's jump into some code. First things first, you should make sure that you have Cosmosm TS CodeGen installed globally. It's not necessary, but for when you're first getting started or for demo purposes, it's actually nice to have the CLI. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna type it in here and then I'm gonna choose the Create Boilerplate option. This is where I'll be entering in my module name and putting in whatever information I'm gonna have for my NPM package for publishing this to NPM. And I'm just gonna put some basic information and where I'm gonna store it on GitHub and the licensing and scopes. So if I go inside, you'll see that it's a very simple package, not a lot here, just a shell so that it's gonna be easy to publish everything to NPM. So if you're a contract developer, you likely already have your own smart contracts already written and additionally, probably exported the JSON schema associated with these contracts. Um, if that's the case, you want to make a folder called contracts or something like this and store the schema for those contracts in that folder. I actually don't have any, so I'm just going to take some that are pre-published to our registry. So if I can say Cosmosm TS CodeGen, I will then choose the install option and I'm going to choose the Wasm swap contract. So effectively what's happened is You'll notice now I've got all these JSON schema exported into the contracts folder, and you can see it's the Wasm swap. So now you can run Cosm Wasm TS code gen. We're going to do generate. We are going to select the contracts folder where we installed the schema to. We're going to select source code gen for the output, and the name of the contract, we're going to call it awesome swap, and we're going to choose client and message composer. We're going to bundle. The bundle file will be index.ts and contracts will be our scope. So let's see what we've built. Great. So now inside of source, we should see a code gen folder that has awesome swap types, client, and message composer. However, before going into those details, I do want to mention that, especially if we're publishing this to NPM, we want to make sure that we update our code gen JS to match the arguments that we passed into our CLI. The reason for this, especially for packaging an NPM module, you don't want to rely on a command line tool when you can probably bake everything into the dependencies of this package. So make sure to update the path, the name, and everything so that it matches the options that you used. Great, so now let's take a look at what was generated inside of this package just before we ship it out to NPM. So on it, we should have an awesome swap object with an awesome swap client, message composer, and query client. Let's just take a look at the client for now. Um, and what we can do is actually create a client by calling new and passing in a signing Cosmosm client, a sender, and a contract address. Um, I'll let you guys actually create those on your own, but just to give you a sense, we've got add liquidity and multi-contract swap and remove liquidity and swap to all these different methods that are in this contract are now super easy to call. Uh, for example, let's do the add liquidity. And so it gives us all of the methods and their types uh, without any question about what is required. So we got max token two, min liquidity, token one amount, expiration. Um, if we wanna call another method, we can just look at the other ones. Let's do swap one, token one for token two. So we got min token two, token one amount, expiration. So it really takes the guesswork out of working with contracts uh, and also types these you know, schema-less JSONs that end up getting passed around in a lot of contract code. So it will really streamline your development and make things a lot more simple. Um, enough of that, we'll dive into more details on the videos. So now let's actually publish this module to NPM. Literally at this point, all you're gonna do is NPM publish. There we go. Awesome swap, published to NPM. Enjoy.